uh, Chris Jonathan is set to play is uh, assuming he plays on Sunday, it'll be his 300th game for Toronto. Obviously, it's a big milestone. You've been his teammate for a while now. Can you just sort of maybe give some, some insight into what kind of the teammate he is? And have you gotten to know him off the field at all? Yeah, you know, like he's been away. I play with uh, Jonathan so is a club legend here, and he's a good guy off the field. So, yeah, we had like two couples. Good night together of the field. Yeah. So I'm always happy to be around him because he's a good teammate. I'm happy for him. What was it like last week for you? Because you know, it was the first game since the opener. I thought you did quite well in going to 90 minutes. But did, what was it from around the personal? What did it feel like to go the full 90? Against yeah, it's been, a, oh, it's been a while. Uh, I was waiting this moment. Uh, since the start of the season, so I was happy for, for my performance, how I play, and uh, I hope I can keep going like this, and I'm uh, just trying to add the team and be in good fitness and and be ready if they need me. Was that a bit of a, a wake-up call after that Dallas game where, you know, for the last couple of years, you didn't need to stay at the back, and then with, with the new manager coming in, he decides to play at halftime there, and ultimately he starts you know, Shane, how do you, was that a bit of a wake-up call to you? Yeah, of course, we can call it like this because, yes, I'd be the last couple of games in the bench. So, yeah, it was it was not uh, the best for me. I wanted to be on the field, but I uh, just want to be a good teammate for the guy who play. And then I know my time will come. And then if uh, if the coach could decide to put me on the field, I just want to put my hand up and uh, uh, I put everything on the field, so yes, you can call like a, it's a wake up call. But for me, it was like yes, I didn't play well the first game, so it's normal that like, sometimes the the coach has to make the decision and uh, have to accept this and and just be ready if they they need me again. What's the what's the messaging from Bob there? What does he want to see more out of you from? Yeah, for me, I want to, to be like aware that if we get if, if each, if each, uh, every everything every place, sorry. So for for me, yes, it's a different style of play, but uh, he tried to make me like better. So for me, it's a, it's a good thing because I want to be better, of course, on the field. So he, even I was on the bench, he was uh, just talking to me and giving me some advice to make sure that. Uh, the day uh, you need me in the field, uh, I will be ready. So that's why uh, I was ready to play and, uh, and give every, everything. So is, it, is it clear what he's asking you to do? Yeah, it was clear. So, yeah. So the first game, sometimes, you know, as a player, you you, you don't perform like like you want, but uh, everything was clear. And then when when it, when I was on the bench, the player would play in my position was being good. So, of course, I had, I had to wait my time. And yes, Sacedo was suspended, so I was the Salamanca who, who was ready to play. And, and for me, it was no pressure. I just I knew my time would come, so I played my best. So with now Sacedo coming back, Shane, you've typically played on the left side of, of central defense. Are you being asked to perhaps Maybe shift over. Are you capable of playing on the right side? I can't. I just. I just want to be on the field. So if I have to play, even right back, I will play. So is the I put the club first. So it doesn't matter for me if I have to play right back, left back, side back. So I just want to be on the field, and is the coach has to make the decision where I can play. Right. But shifting that to facing a New York City FC team. Last thing is they, they were in the Champions League. They're, they had that push there. But now they've just come in off a 6 nothing win. Tati Castellanos, four goals. MLS called the boot winner. Are you expecting a different-looking New York side than perhaps you guys saw a couple weeks back? Of course, it will be a different team. I know from my experience that when you play Champions League, it's tough to be good in the league games. But now the they be out from the Champions League, so now they are on the person focus for the game. So, yes, it's going to be a good team, a good opponent, but uh, we faced as well in good team against Philly. So, I think we're ready to to, to play against them and and hopefully get a good result. And Castellanos, 
he's, he's faced him a couple of times now. What do you expect me out of him uh, this weekend? What's his threat? I expect him to to be tough to play against and nothing more. So I like the like that type of the game. So I like when the opening stuff. So for me, it's, it's no big problem. So I like to play against a team like this and, and hopefully big them because I'm the field. And this is only what I, I think about this. We have a question online. We'll go to Steve Buffery. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, I was just wondering, what is your take on just how this team has played this year under uh, Bradley? I think our team is pragmatic, so so we just think about the play with energy and and try to to put everything with. You know, this team is younger than before, so we can learn and we learn a lot, and uh, I think we we've been going down a good way. You just have to keep going and put everything because when you do, you put everything on the thing, you you can have a good result. And this is what happened now for us. So it's good, it's good to 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 keep going like this. And next up, we have James Rossi. Thanks, Nick. Hey, Chris. Uh, you know, over the years, there have been some pretty epic matchups between TFC and NYCFC. What is it about these two teams that that brings out the best in everybody on these days? I think the you know the the quality of the the players on the field. So even Toronto and New York City, they have like a good players. So it's always tough to play against them. But and I think our culture and this club, we like to play those games. So we're always ready to play and give everything. And we know that it's not the easy place to play, but we have a good result over there. So. We just have to think like I think mentally we can because we beat them this season too, so we hide of them, so we just need to be playing real ready to play against against New York. 